Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to earn passive income by lending out your crypto directly from your Ledger Nano hardware device. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the help page on the ledger.com website, uh, which gives you an overview of how lending works and how you can lend through Compound using your Ledger Nano device. Uh, now, I'm gonna walk you through all this, but I invite you to read this page. I'll put a link to this down in the description. Now, there are only three assets that you can lend out using this method. So you're gonna need to have DAI, uh, US Dollar Coin, or US Tether in your account in order to do this. These are what we call stable coins, uh, you can purchase them on cryptocurrency exchanges and then transfer and store them on your ledger device, safe and sound. And then you'll be able to enable lending from within the Ledger Live interface so that you can lend these assets out and earn interest. And the entire time they're going to be stored on your Ledger Nano device, a very secure way to hold your crypto and lend it out. So I invite you to read more about this. Uh, let me walk you through how this is going to work. It's pretty straightforward. So we're just going to launch our Ledger Live. All right, and you'll notice now that they have this Lend uh, feature on the sidebar over here on the left side. So we can just uh, start up by clicking Lend. All right, and then you're just going to agree to the terms of use here. All right, and so the process will start with approving the account and then uh, you'll supply the assets. And then you can withdraw the assets at any time. All right, and they're giving us a little warning here about uh, the Ethereum network. Fees are pretty high right now, so you'll wanna take that into consideration when you enable any of these lending contracts. All right, so as you can see, I have some of these assets already deposited in my account. So as you can see, all these assets are ERC-20 tokens. You will manage them with an Ethereum wallet. So uh, basically an ERC-20 token is a sub-token on the Ethereum blockchain. So you'll need to have an Ethereum account, and then you're going to deposit these stable coins into your Ethereum account. I'll go ahead and do a quick uh, demo of how you would transfer these assets into your account. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but if you already have the assets in your account, you might want to skip ahead in the video. I've got a time code table of contents in the description below if you'd like to skip ahead. All right, so I'll just demonstrate how it works on Coinbase. When you're on the Coinbase homepage, you can just go over here to trade. And instead of Bitcoin, you're going to want to buy, I'll choose DAI, but you could also choose, uh... okay, as you can see, you can also buy US dollar coin on Coinbase. Now US Tether, I don't think they've got it on Coinbase, but uh, there are a lot of other cryptocurrency exchanges where you can purchase Tether. All right, so I'll go ahead and just buy a little die here. And you can use your bank account or your debit card. Keep in mind when you use the bank account, there may be a delay in being able to withdraw the assets from Coinbase. If you use the debit card option, you can withdraw the assets right away. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy 20 bucks worth of die just to show you how this works. All right. And now that I've done that, I've got some die in the account. But also, the underlying theory behind the stablecoin is usually uh, trading for it with your cryptocurrencies. So the idea here is that if you're holding cryptocurrencies and you're trading and you want to lock in gains, uh, you would uh, sell the cryptocurrency for the stablecoin uh, to uh, sort of exit the trade, right? To um, keep the asset stable uh, and tied or pegged to the US dollar. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. As you can see, there's a little bit of Bitcoin in the account. I'll just go over here to portfolio and go down to Bitcoin. Okay, so on Coinbase, you're kind of uh, forced to you, uh, sell your Bitcoin for cash, right? So we would choose sell all and uh, sell now. And then the Bitcoin is converted to cash. Right. And then we would go back in 
by the DAI, and this time we would use our Coinbase Cash account. All right, so as you can see, in my case, there's not a whole lot in there. Um, so, but I'm just using my cash balance to purchase the die. Now on other crypto exchanges like um, uh, Binance US or Kraken or uh, Bittrex, uh, the trading is a little more direct. You can trade Bitcoin directly for stable coins. A few more steps required in Coinbase. But I just wanted to give you an idea how you acquire stable coins. Alrighty, so now that we've got a, uh, a fair amount of DAI in our uh, account, we're going to withdraw it. So what we want to do is send the DAI to our ledger device or our uh, cryptocurrency wallet. Alright, so you're going to want to have your ledger device uh, connected and your PIN entered before you do this. To verify the address, we can hit add token and choose DAI. And that's on the Ethereum blockchain. We'll hit continue here. All right, now it's going to direct you to enter the Ethereum app. Now I'm running the latest version of Ledger Live. Uh, so if you're not running the latest version of Ledger Live, you might need to just manually navigate over to the Ethereum app and enter it. But in this case, it just uh, gives me the option here. I'll just hit both buttons, enter the Ethereum app, all right, and it's going to show ver verify address. I'll just use this button to advance over to the address. And you can just double check that the address on your device matches the one you see on your screen. It's just a fail safe. All right. Now, before we approve that, we're going to want to copy this into our clipboard. All right. And then we can just move over here, click approve, and that window will disappear. All right, now we've got that verified address in our clipboard. We'll just go back over to our Coinbase account. And we're going to do a send all of the die that's in our account. And we'll paste in that address. That is the Ethereum address of my ledger account, right? That's where I'm sending my die. We'll hit continue. And we'll hit send now. All right, they're going to give us a warning. This is an irreversible action. Don't get freaked out about this. Just the way crypto works. I'll enter my two-factor. My advice to you, if you've got a lot of crypto that you're transferring, um, I would start with a small amount just to test it out to make sure that it uh, sends and receives the way you expect before sending uh, a large amount, right? Do a little small transaction first, and then you can send the rest. All right, and then we'll just go back over to Ledger Live and wait for that to come in. Now, if it's taking a while, you can always go over to your Coinbase account and kind of refresh there. And it'll show you in the DAI wallet that the transaction is pending on Coinbase, right? This may take a few minutes. It's just on their end, right? So, And you can even click here and see the address you sent to to confirm that you're sending it to the, the address of your ledger. Also, uh, remember that all ERC-20 tokens that you send to an Ethereum wallet go to the exact same address of the Ethereum wallet. So if you do a receive and continue, you'll see it's the exact same address as the main Ethereum wallet. So you could just send it directly to this address too. All right, and then you can see down there at the bottom that the die that I transferred has arrived. So you would use that same technique uh, to transfer whatever stable coin you want into your ledger device. And you could transfer it from any cryptocurrency exchange where you're holding stable coin. So the, uh, the idea here is if you uh, are uh, holding stable coin and it's not doing anything, uh, you might want to just store it in your device and earn interest on it. Uh, where it's safe and secure and you control the private key rather than just let it sit on an exchange or sit in your wallet. All right, so now we can go back over to the Lend feature. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my Tether. I've got some Tether here. We'll start out by hitting Deposit. And it's going to auto-choose uh, the Tether there for us. We'll hit Continue. All right, and this is where we approve the account, right? This is the step where we approve the account. Now, uh, we need the private keys for this. So the private keys live on the device. 
So it's going to ask us to sign the transaction. So when you do this, make sure that you've got the device attached and that you're in the Ethereum app. If you're not in the Ethereum app, it'll direct you to enter it, right? But you can go ahead and do it beforehand. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here. All right, and you can see here that it's asking me to approve this contract. Remember, keep an eye on your device. I know a lot of people have their eyes glued to the screen and they don't realize that the device is asking them to approve, right? So we'll review the transaction. Uh, we'll advance over to the side. It's going to give us some information, the contract name, the amount. This is the overall approval of the account. We haven't chosen the amount yet. All right, and then we'll just choose accept and send. All right, and so uh, it's waiting for approval. There we can click this link and learn a little more about how this all works. Uh, or that we can just close this. All right, and there we can see that the, it shows up in the list of approved accounts. All right, and so it's indicating that there's zero uh, loans right now. All right, I don't have any interest yet and the status is inactive, right? We've simply approved that uh, Tether account for lending on the Compound platform. So now we can go down here to Manage. Hope my head's not in the way there. All right, and then we can uh, choose Deposit here. We'll hit uh, Deposit. And we can uh, choose how much. I think we could even edit this field and give it an exact amount. Let's just uh, start with 50% just to try it out. All right, there's some advanced settings here uh, to adjust our uh, gas limit. Oops. All right, now there's the network fees. Now, what does that mean? 0 0.015 ETH. So we can go over to coingecko.com. All right, uh, 0.15 Ethereum is approximately $7.20. So uh, that's up to you whether you uh, think that's reasonable charge. Now you can up that if you want to uh, get the transaction to go through quicker. But I would uh, sort of, the default is usually fine. We'll hit continue here. All right, and then we're going to need to confirm this on the device as well. So we'll review the transaction by using this metal button. Go over, there's the amount of ETH, right? Because we're actually, we're not sending ETH, we're sending uh, Tether, right? And then there's the address, uh, the fees, that's 0 0.154, and then we'll choose accept and send. All right, and then it says the deposit was sent successfully. We can go ahead and close this. And you can see down here it says supplying, and now it says earning. We can withdraw at any time if we want to. We can go over here to manage. I think I uh, restarted the transaction and sent the entire amount. But uh, but we can uh, we can manage the transaction. So we can go over here to manage and withdraw the asset anytime we want. Right? We'll hit continue. We will have to pay the fees again. Right, so uh, we'll go ahead and click continue here, and then we'll choose review transaction. Scroll over to accept and send and hit both buttons. And you'll see at the moment it still says earning. All right, and then I can go over to close loans and see that uh, loan is uh, on the close status. Right, and I don't know why, it looks like there's a little bit of dust in there, uh, but I've got my balance back, right? All right, and uh, let me try that again. I wanted to, I don't know what I did, but uh looked like somehow, let's try that 50% again. All right, there's the amount. Let's go ahead and uh, approve that here. Accept and send. All right, we'll hit close there. Okay, there we go. There, that, that's the 50% uh, amount that I wanted. I must have uh, backed out and uh, went back into the transaction the first time. But as you can see, I just wanted to make sure it worked. All right. So you can lend out the entire amount of your holdings or a partial amount of your holdings. 
and you'll uh, begin to earn interest over time, uh, which is a good way to earn passive income on your crypto assets. And so you can use any of these three assets if you have them in your wallet uh, by going through this process. And as I showed you, you can uh, withdraw at any time. Just keep in mind, every time you begin a loan, you'll pay uh, a fee in Ethereum. And anytime you end a loan, you'll pay a fee in Ethereum. And you'll want to make sure that the account that these assets are in has some Ethereum in it. All right. So uh, as you can see, this account has some Ethereum in it, enough to pay the fees, right? I've noticed that some people will have uh, accounts in their Ledger Live with a zero ETH balance, and then they've got some tokens in there. Um, and they and then they wonder why they can't uh, initiate transactions. It's because you need to have some ETH in your account in order to pay these fees. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.